No, 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 no. <laughs> Can't have any of my fries. <laughs> Happy Meal? No, they don't have that at Burger King. It's pretty freaky how I know your thoughts, <laughs> isn't it? Pretty, I got, pretty I, freaky how I figured out what you were thinking there. Um, I have something really funny. I wouldn't today. speak, but my voice hurts too much. After doing all of this. Okay, I've got something, and this it came in my backyard. It's a, cr <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy drunk squirrel. I have a crazy mm, goose not as story. as crazy as my story. I got a crazy goose story. From this weekend? Uh, no, from my life in the past, further in the past. So the question is, if yours is that amazing, should I share the goose story first? Because I don't want it to be like a letdown. Yours is from like childhood. No, it's from like um, like. I Hold on, I know when it was from. Let me ago. read your mind. A couple years ago. Yeah, the goose. I don't think it's as good as mine. Yeah, let me tell it first, because it's not as good. Um, yeah, the whole turkey thing. I'm not lying when I say that I would not, I would not visit a town that was being invaded by turkeys, thinking, oh, that'll be fun. That'll be cute. That would be scary because I take the kids to like feed the ducks at the pond or something like that here in yeah. town and you'll go to the wrong pond and there'll be geese there. Oh, those geese. And, the, and a goose will Bad come news. up, like a Canadian goose will come up to you and it will open its mouth and hiss. Yeah, what, what about that, Jen? How does that happen? Why, why, do, why do those Canadian geese do that? Why are they so mean? Canadians are so nice. Canadian I've, geese got I've attitudes. I've had like a bad interaction with one. Before. Really, because you're Canadian. Yeah. They know that. Swans yeah. are mean too. They'll just come up. They'll come up to you with that face and like. They're very <laughs> confident too. They're very confident. I mean, because I know I could kill one with a, just with a kick, with a kick <laughs> to the head. But but you'll flinch if a swan comes at you like that. <laughs> I'm saying that if I was being attacked by a goose and I felt my life was in danger, which is probably unlikely. I mean, if I was being attacked by like seven geese, I would probably start killing them. But one goose, I'm just gonna run and be like, buddy, come on now, hey, stay. No, 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 but then they won't let up and it gets to be scary. It's like, oh my gosh, I have to get in a car. <laughs> like, that's what happened to us. We had to leave the pond. I mean, I wasn't gonna kick it or kill it. And they know that. They're like, he's not gonna kick me. I'm taking a chance. He's not stupid well, enough to What's he so me. angry about? They do, If have he you kicks been... me, he'll get on the internet and then everyone will hate him. You know, you can't kick a goose. Have you been hissed at by a Canadian goose? Oh yeah, I've been hissed at. And did you flinch? I did hissed, you run? I hissed right back. You, you, you ought to see the look on their face when you do that. <laughs> right back at them. <laughs> You're not being serious because no. I know what you would do. You'd run. I like know. I, I, did. I, I did. I do run from them. In front of my I, kids, I'm running from a goose. <laughs> Daddy, it's just a bird. All right, tell your squirrel story. Okay. Uh, well, we know that I've, I've had some interesting squirrel encounters in my backyard. Like uh, a long time ago, we talked about it on GMM. But the one came in your house. Came in the house, and my wife called 911. Long story. <laughs> But um, the other day, I am sitting outside uh, doing a little work, you know, preparing for something. Oh, I was late to pick you up, is what happened. Oh yeah, I was sitting out back waiting for you, like a little kid waiting to get on the school bus. <laughs> and But I was in my backyard, and I see this squirrel, he's crawling on the side of the house in sort of a weird area that I don't normally see squirrels, and he's small, he, he looks like he's an adolescent squirrel about half the size of a normal, normal squirrel. And then he just kind of falls off of the wall. But he kind of lands on his feet, and then he looks at me, and he starts coming, comes right up to me, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, buddy, whoa! You know, I don't want an interaction right now. And uh, I like step I step back and get up and take a couple steps backwards, and he, he, he comes towards me again. Really? And then I like stamp my foot, because I'm starting to, starting to think, this thing's got rabies, he's gonna bite me. And I, I stamp my foot, and he kind of goes, and then he turns around and he jumps up on the uh, the column holding the back porch up. He mm. jumps like a foot onto the thing, looks at me, and then he just <laughs> slides all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with this squirrel? Like most squirrels would be like out of there, right? And then I kind of like stamp again like this and I'm starting to yell a little bit. And he kind of, he, he takes a couple of really slow steps across the backyard and then he gets onto the trampoline, like the side of the trampoline, like and starts crawling up the trampoline and then he looks at me and <laughs> slides right back down the pole. <laughs> like a fireman. Yeah, I'm like, what is he doing tricks for me or something? 
And then he gets up onto the trampoline. The trampoline has a net that was closed. And so he starts running around the outside, the perimeter of the trampoline. He's having a really difficult time. And I'm like, what is wrong with this squirrel? Eventually, he jumps off of the trampoline go, and, I, and I chase him towards the fence. I'm trying to get him into a tree or something. He jumps up on the fence and just falls back down. Jumps up on the fence, falls back down. I'm like, Wait. and I'm like, this thing's got, he's been hit by a car, he's got rabies, he's going crazy, I don't know. And eventually, he gets to the edge and there's a little vine coming down the side of the fence and he goes up the vine real slowly and then climbs up into the tree. And so then I'm telling Locke about it later and he's like, Dad, the squirrel was drunk. He said, I saw this on television because we have an orange tree. The squirrels eat the oranges and they fall out of the tree and they sit there for a couple of days and they ferment and they turn it, it turns into alcohol inside of the orange and then they get in there and I they drink. You meant the squirrel drank the orange, fell off the tree. I was picturing a squirrel at the bottom of the tree. You mean the orange falls off the tree? No, the squirrel goes into the tree, bites the tree, bites the, the orange, it falls to the ground. He goes down there, he rips into it and eats the, the orange, but then it stays out for a couple of days and the it's still orange the orange ferments, the yes. orange ferments and turns into alcohol and then he gets drunk off like of an orange cocktail and then I have a drunk squirrel in my backyard. That's exactly what happened. I had a drunk, I got drunk squirrels in my backyard. Really? Partying all the time. Well, I thought it was gonna be really sad, but then it got kind of just happy. No, he's fine. He's totally fine. He just got into a little, he got a little over, over his head. Was he hiccuping? No, it wasn't a cartoon. <laughs> well, it's pretty close. Yeah.